The grand opening uh, was in May 14, 1928. Really in spring of 1974 is when the Embassy Theater Foundation um, again acquired and began presenting shows in the theater. Largely the benefactor was Bob Goldstein and he uh, was a huge fan of the organ. So some people say that the Grand Page organ is what saved the embassy. Bob's love of the organ uh, really created this civic pride to keep the embassy open. It was in a very sad state of disrepair. There was well, there was coal soot everywhere. There's a lot of coal soot. There was a lot of dirt, a lot of chewing gum on the floors and under uh, the seats. The uh, floor was in the um, stage, for example, was a very uh, uh, dark wood, black, and dirty. So a lot of things had to be replaced. Uh, one of the major th things that once the um, theater foundation actually had the had the building, hotel rooms behind the stage were removed so that the back of the stage could be extended back to the present distance now. The city wanted to um, turn the, the, the theater into a parking lot and use the hotel for low-income housing. And then once it closed down, uh, then we formed a foundation called the Embassy Theater Foundation to uh, save the building. And uh, the, uh, the owners of the building wanted a quarter of a million dollars for it. So ultimately, uh, we raised a quarter of a million dollars and uh, we, we now own this building. Back in the 70s, a quarter million dollars was real money. The, the amount that we actually paid for the building was probably a pretty good deal. The thought was that we could raise it from the 300 millionaires that lived in the county. And the fact is, the reason they're millionaires is they don't spend any of it. And it was paid for with small donations, 10 and $20 donations. That's what actually got it started. The, the, they got it the, started. the small donations were the catalyst, which then in turn attracted the movers and shakers who decided well if we're gonna if we're gonna look like movers and shakers we better get on the bandwagon here so they yeah. sold uh, bumper stickers that I gave to save the embassy down at the little kiosks in South Town Mall back when that was a shopping center in Glenbrook and people would come by what are we two dollars a piece for those two dollars a piece yeah nickel and dimed it the best we could the spring of 75 we, we actually uh, had the building purchased, and it was on the historic register, which means that U.S. government money can't be used to tear it down. It's very difficult to think that at one time um, the owners of this theater were bankrupt, and so without the community support and without philanthropists in the community stepping forward and saying, this is part of Fort Wayne, this is the legacy that I want my children and grandchildren to have, we wouldn't be standing here now. It's you know, it would be just a tragedy to think that this could have been a parking lot.